Well, frustratingly... Oh, shoot. Where is that even going to drop me? I have no idea where I am now. Well, frustratingly for me, I, uh... I just lost eight minutes of footage. Luckily, the only thing that we lost was me finding a couple of, uh... A couple of crystals. Which are actually rather easy to get back to, if I can remember. Okay, there we are. So, uh... I'm just gonna quickly do overviews for for things that I found. So there was a crystal in here on that rock over here, right here. And then I also discovered something amazing. So now, so I can apparently boost with this thing, which is awesome. Means that uh, I can fly forever because it recharges while I'm flying after a short grace period. Okay, and the other, then the other one. It's actually right in here that I found. There's this one. Uh, this is the one I was looking for right before I ended the episode, and then got distracted doing other things, like moving. Okay, so now that we've we've done that, I think there's like maybe one or two elsewhere. Otherwise, whatever, doesn't matter too much. I got a thousand other things to do than just r retracing my steps. I mean, I don't, not really, but still. Okay, so we have we have crystal bits. Uh, part of the reason why I'm going for more crystal bits or going wildly out of my way for them is I definitely need more. That should be obvious. I, think I said I was gonna kind of leave this area alone. Let's see. Ship part somewhere on that mountain, or the scanner's frozen again. Well, I don't know. Uh, let's see. I can pull up the I can pull up the map if I need to. I figured I'd just kind of go over. Actually, let's pull up the map anyway. I'm gonna be way faster than doing this manually. Don't look like I'm getting a whole lot of hits here, though. Unfortunately. So I might actually have to suss this one out on my own. At least until I get closer. Haven't gotten that telerouter. Have I just, like, totally ignored this section? Oh, there it is. Alrighty then. Well, that makes this easier. Especially to the fact that I'm really freaking fast. Why? What? Oh, there's there's got to be multiple here then. If we were getting a response earlier elsewhere, yeah. There's going to be at least one more of these things around here. Which means it's probably over in this, like, dell. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. That's it right there. Yeah, the reason why I'm collecting these is because if I can get another, like, power... Uh, another, like, power meter or something like that. Oh, there's another one. Um, we can more or less just continuously fly wherever we want. Largely unimpeded, which is kind of great. Uh, let's see. So we're not we're not getting any more responses. I know I've got a Telerator directly up above on these islands, I think. Oh. Alternatively, I was getting a crystal response. Ay. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be a completionist hound because I I have I have no self control. Actually, have I gotten this? No, I haven't gotten this one. So let, let's let's active. Really? That's annoying. Okay. So unfortunately, it was telling me. Ooh, I think I found us the uh, crystal fragment we're looking for. Yeah, it's in here. Uh, let's see. Uh, unfortunately, things in the in the distance appear un uncompleted. I I don't know how to describe it beyond that. Oh, we're going the wrong direction. Oh, that's understandable. Uh, so yeah, teleporters, teleradars that we've already completed might not look necessarily completed from a distance, which is super frustrating when you're trying to be completionist about everything. Oh well, could be worse. Okay, there we go. Let's see, we might as well, we might as well use this to get up. I don't really take the geysers very far, ever. Looks like we've got something, oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. You don't want to do that, bud, what are you doing? You don't want to do that at all. Okay, so I'm getting another reaction up and around here, so it's probably on one of these islands. If not this one. Let's see. 
Yep. Okay. So we've definitely got one on this island. Where, though? I don't know. My bet is... Uh, hidden cave. It's always a hidden cave. Yep, hidden cave. I don't think it's ever anywhere else. Which is fine. It's just a matter of, like... I don't know. You'd, you'd think after a certain point they'd be in, like, kind of weird places. Then again, what's weirder than a hidden cave? I don't know. Uh, I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm thinking back to the, the days of... Original uh, Grow Home with the constant barrage of hidden hidden crystal bits on the underside of everything. It was awful. Like, good luck finding all that stuff, because I don't think you have this boost meter with the hang glider. Looks like we're actually pretty done with this zone. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we've got this area completed. Uh... We really haven't messed with this, with the frost, this specific frosty zone, especially. Yeah, with the ship part and everything. So let's let's head for this teleporter. I'm just gonna make my way up and around. I guess actually, it's gonna be easier for me to get this one up here. I think I maybe got one of them a while back. Maybe two. Hard to tell. I I've been kind of woefully inconsistent. When it comes to all this stuff. That's the final set there, isn't it? I don't know. There's definitely a star plant there, and I don't think I've really messed with it. It's not nearly to the extent that I should have. There's also... There's also, of course, a thing. Okay, I think we're good. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Not actually sure if this is faster. Nope. Like, might have actually been a better idea for me to just try and fly through and grab it in jetpack uh, hang glider mode instead of uh, carrying things around. Carrying things around. Uh, you know, walking manually with my hands. Nope. Every once in a while, it looks like he's grabbed it, and then he just goes. Yeah. That's interesting. Oh. Nope, I have no idea. It's... it's weird. I love this game, but sometimes... Sometimes, man, it just doesn't know what it... it itself wants. But that's okay. Okay, don't touch rocks, because they fall. They're a trap. Okay, my battery is almost at max. So we're, sadly, we've only got 80 out of 150. There's two more upgrades that we can get. And that was really strange looking. Let's see, we've only got two more upgrades that we can get. And one of them, I don't know, I don't know what one of them is going to do. The other one's going to give me infinite energy. As far as I remember. Do we have all the floor forms yet? No, we're missing one kind of leaf and that's it. Okay. What if I can just bonk my way in here? Yeah! I can totally bonk my way in here. That's awesome. Okay, and I'm not seeing any other collectibles in this... on this, uh, rock. Which is a bit surprising. It's a pretty big island for a Telerator and... Oh, there's a pod challenge there. I gotcha. Well... We might as well. I got a thousand things to do here. And we might as well do every single one of them. Okay, so what is this one? Okay. So it's a bit of an issue. Oh, I, I don't really see the, uh... We'll probably get it, no problem. But this is definitely, definitely awkward. Now that I know that there's a speed boost with this, with this whole mode, it's, it's, I'm gonna say it's, uh, oh, no, 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 no. No, get out of ball mode. That is totally there to confound people like me. 
Uh, now that we know that there's this speed boost, it's here specifically to mess with my head. Oh, we're already done. Well, that was actually really fast. And it looks like we have one more challenge before before we're uh, kitted out here. Oh, the flashing blue means... Flashing blue means there's a uh, challenge nearby. Yeah, I know we got a ship part up there, but I'm still trying to get all the other stuff out of the way first. Looks like we also have a crystal nearby. Somewhere-ish. I don't know. We'll get them eventually. It's hard It's hard to say whether or not I'm going to go, like, full 100% for this. It, uh, honestly, tempted to do a lot of, lot of the crystal hunting off... Off camera, if only because my time is super valuable, and I'm not really aiming for a hundred percent guide on uh, on this game. As much as it would be really fun to do, uh, there's there's no way I'd, I'd I'd be able to sink the time into that. Oh no 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 no! There we go. Let's see if we can grab this on the way down. The answer is probably should have probably should move away from Ninja. I just I like how cool his his thing is. His jetpack is pretty sweet. At least in comparison. I kinda wish a uh, regular bud had an ability that actually like meant something. Like yeah, I, I know I I know like I could just go with it for cosmetic reasons, and it doesn't have to. Because like ultimately 90% of this stuff means nothing. But at the same time, it would be kind of nice from the perspective of, I don't know, giving a reason to do things. There's a whole section of this map I haven't even touched. Dang. Okay, have I done this pod challenge yet? I don't think so. There's a lot of stuff to do here. This one looks like one of those where I'm supposed to go from... It looks like I'm supposed to go from, like, pillar to pillar, but I could be wrong about that. Nope. Actually, this one looks rather easy. Like, stupid easy. Have I gotten these yet? It looks like I've scanned that floor form. Okay. I'll have to figure out where the... Oh. No, 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 no. What? All right, let's just restart that challenge. I went too high. I shouldn't have done that. So one problem with uh, it's the one problem with the hang glider and the boost. Sometimes when you're just a me uh initially getting that that boost, you can mess up a bit. It's also a little bit hard to figure out where you are with the third person camera, and make sure you hit the target. It's not that big of a deal. But it is somewhat of one. Oh, this is actually a longer course than I thought it was going to be. Maybe I should actually use a little bit of juice on this. I'm trying not to. For, I would say, ra rather obvious reasons. There we go. Alright. I tried that suit, bud. Sorry if I stretched it. Okay, what's this one? Nocturnal. Ooh! A shimmering suit, perfect for a spot of nocturnal crystal collection. Okay. So I look really strange. Guess I'll stick with it for the time being. Ship part, somewhere near these caves. Okay, so we've got that challenge done, right? We got that one. What about, we got that one. I haven't gotten this one. There we go. And hopefully, hopefully this thing actually has like a nice passive benefit apart from just night vision. I don't know, really, it really depends on if the crystal radar starts to react to stuff. I guess we'll find out when we get closer. Okay, so what's this one? Oh. That's kind of pleasant. Never mind. That sucks. What are you doing? What was that? 
What was that? I, I pointed upwards and it's like, ah, time to boost purely downwards. Much to my general confusion. Okay, well this time we're gonna hit it right here and hopefully this brings us up. You'd think this thing would catch air really, really well. It doesn't for some reason. Like, I wanna say... The, uh... I wanna say the parachute actually... Oh, we're not done yet. Where's the next one? Wait, what? What did we miss? What did we miss? Oh. Well, lucky me. How are you supposed to get up there? Oh, right, you're supposed to get on the flower. You know, I've actually started to discount floor forms almost entirely. Uh, I'd say because of laziness. Yeah, it's probably laziness. I, I've started to discount them because because of how they've how they've handled the uh, well. I mean the the jet glider. Like at this point, at this point, I have like infinite upward momentum as long as I give it a little bit of time, which is a bit on the. I don't know. I want to call it on the lame side, but maybe it's just because it's easy. It makes things easier. Okay. So we've got... We've got these all over the place. Let's come back for these. We have a minute to get it. I'm sure I'm supposed to uh, actually use my feet for this one. But I think let's just use the hang glider. It's got a little bit more... Uh... I'm gonna say control, and I'm probably not entirely sure if I mean it that way. The sad part is, the hang glider is, uh... Well, it's the hang glider, man. It, uh... It does what it wants. It doesn't really... It doesn't really work. It's not a... It's not a team player. Okay, let's see if I can turn butt around. There we go. Yep. Is that it? That's it. Alright. Sometimes cheese is the best way to do, do these things. Okay, so we got this one complete. What else we got around here? Pod challenge. That's a tele better pod challenge. I guess it's time for the, the ship part and some more pod challenges. Oh yeah, I was also going to go looking for uh, crystal-y bits. Yeah, like there. What was that? I mean, to be fair, I wasn't exactly pointed in the right direction, but at the same time, uh, I, I, I got questions, and not a whole lot of answers for, like, what was that? Okay, so I was going over here. Like, it feels like, uh, some, sometimes that boost is just an instant nosedive button, no matter who, what, or where. Okay, so what... What is this guy's benefit for spotting crystally bits? I'm curious. Oh, uh, you know what? I bet that would actually be a fair bit better. I think I know how to make this not instant do nosedive me anymore. And I just immediately impacted into that. Well, that's inconvenient. Because that means I have to take the long way around. Yeah, I honestly can't tell you what the, the benefit is for uh, for this skin and crystal collection. Well, I mean... There we go. I think I got... Nope, there we go. Now we got it. So, the next one's at 100, and then after that, ugh, long haul. Long haul to 100. Or 150. Right. So, we still got another crystal here. I don't know. I don't really know, know what the uh, dealio is with this skin. Apart from making things less dark because of flashlight eyes. Oh, jeez. I... Ugh.
This is rough. And this is not an easy thing to recover from, especially because I keep going over it. Okay. I might be able to recover with enough speed boosts. But it's gonna be hard. And I keep going over it. Ah, let's let's just restart this challenge. Yeah, the the problem is where I think Bud is going, he is not. And sometimes that does not work out in my favor. Okay. Let's aim a little bit lower, because yeah, I think I'm shooting for the middle and I'm really shooting for the moon. Which is not a friendly place to be. I'm hitting these corners maybe a little bit too harshly. I wonder if half of these challenges... Nope. Nope. You know, I'd swear, he doesn't have arms that do arm things. I think they're purely for decoration. Okay. We got seconds to not spare here. How many things do we have left? <gasps> not enough. There's at least one more, and we did not get it. Ah. Uh, okay, we're gonna... We're gonna restart challenge, but before we hop in, I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw us into ninja suit. Night vision, as far as I can tell, kind of useless. Like, kind of super useless. Not to mention that butterfly really does kind of throw off my, like, uh, directional sense. It's harder to control. If only because you don't... It... It's hard to know exactly where you're aiming. Uh, <laughs> I keep going around it. And that's not a good thing. Okay, whatever. We'll be okay. I'ma just not miss this time. It'd be really nice if there's a zoom in button. That's not the zoom in button. That is the zoom very far out button. A button I don't want to deal with. Okay. Okay, bud. This is not a time for you get it you to get stuck on the environment like a total knob. Okay, well we got 20 seconds to get the boost. There we go. Okay. And we got a crystal. Yeah, I don't think that that night vision suit is anything more than just pure night vision. Which, uh, gonna be honest. Kinda meh. Okay, let's see if I can get up. What I want is to somehow catch on to Pod. Oh, Pod has... Pod has, um... I'm having trouble getting off of this to some degree. Pod has no collision, though. Ah, well, too late. Oh, well. I mean, could be worse, but still. So we've got two more parts left, and then Mom's good. It'd be nice if we got an upgrade. Some kind of upgrade for getting Mom. Mom parts. Like, actually, if uh, crystals were battery and Mom parts got you the, the upgrades... That'd be nice. Maybe. Okay, so we've got a couple of crystals around here, probably in hidden caves. Yeah, it's looking pretty likely. Maybe? Nope. No, this is just this is just a cave. It's not hidden. Well, I mean it is, but nothing's hidden in it. Nothing that anybody would want or desire or care about or anything, really. Oh, there's one. Are both the crystal -y bits directly below? I don't know. Let's see if I can grab it as I go by. Yeah! You know, I know it's pro- uh-oh. Sometimes this thing just wants to go into a nosedive and just not go anywhere. It's really kind of weird. Uh, let's see. What is it? 
It, I don't know if it's any better or worse to do what I do, which is the the crazy, you know, careen my way toward towards the uh, crystally bit. But it's really fun to actually like kind of. I'm gonna say hole in one it, but that's that's not the that's not the right wording. Okay, let's go this direction. Nope. We have something nearby. Maybe it's that one of these two little islands over here, or maybe it's one of the ones directly above me. Looks like the answer is above. It's up here. Somewhere. Oh, is this one of the ones that we saw as we went by for a challenge? But couldn't get because... Yeah, there it is. Ooh. New type of bug we haven't seen before. Sadly, there's like zero reason for bugs in this game. Apart from visual flair. I miss dodos, man. They were weird. And funny. Okay, so what do we got? It's probably something attached to one of these small islands, but on the bottom. At least that's my bet. Okay. Nope, nothing. What? Yeah, it does that. Like, I was, I was, I was pointing it upwards, and it was still very vehement about pushing me down for some reason. Not a clue. Oh, whatever. Uh, I think we've got a Telerider here, here I haven't dealt with. At the very least. So we might as well grab this. Right, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to finish everything off for this area before we move on. It would be really nice if uh, the map actually was split up in a way so you could be like, okay, so this area has... Oh, there it is. I knew it was close. I was just the wrong set of rocky outcrop looking things. I gotcha. Okay, what do we want to do next? Doesn't look like we've got much else here. We've got at least one challenge, if not two. Did we get did we get the one on this island? We did. Okay, so all that's left is this one. And then we're good to go. Oh, that's nice. The story area is neat, but it, I don't know, it just feels kind of weirdly um, disorganized in comparison to some of the other ones. I think that's true of all of Grow Up, though. It's been a, uh, you know, it, it just it just doesn't feel as, uh, as, as, well, I mean, it's it's not linear. The It's a much more sandbox experience, but it feels like it's, oh, no, ah. It feels like a lot of it has to do just purely with um, going from area to area, grabbing as many of these challenges and crystals and everything as possible, which is like totally cool, but I kind of wish each area had a theme to it. You know, like jumping puzzles, uh, hang glider puzzles, puzzle puzzles, I don't know. It, it feels like a lot of the puzzles are purely just like target shooting with hang gliders, which isn't bad, but it does end up making it feel just a little bit on the, um, it, it does make it feel kind of like phoned in, I think would be the phrase I'd want to use here. It's still fun, it's still a lot of fun, but I, I'm missing that level of like, uh, I don't even know. Wonder, maybe? As as Grow Home did. It's a better game, but it, it it loses the luster. Hard to say, I don't know. I I'm in a very critiquey mood for some reason lately. And then people call me out for being like overly critiquey and I'm like, double down, make it worse, critique everything. And that's what I do. I think it's also one of those where, like, you, you put X amount of hours into something, and uh, after a while, it's like you get this thought process stuck in your head. It's like, it's like you're eating a burger. Like, okay, I don't know, this is probably going to be like a total non sequitur for a lot of people, but I don't know if you guys have heard of, like, Fuddruckers as a, as a, like, chain. Honestly, not very good burgers. Uh, to be totally honest. 
they their only real draw is the fact that their burgers are comically over large for largely unnecessary reasons and um and like you go there and you're like oh man i'm gonna have like a, a one pound beef burger whatever and then you bite into it and you're like oh wow this is like this is not even good they just they didn't even try that much for this they're just kind of like oh 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 is that the that's that's i believe the last floor form i haven't gotten I assume it just bounces me up into the air. Yeah, luminous springy leaves. Yeah, that's the end of it, isn't it? Yeah, we're all good. That's cool. I'll have to mess around with them more, obviously. But still. So we've still got that one there. I don't know... I don't know where the actual, like, final progression bit is for this game. But that's okay. But yeah, let's, let's finish the Fuddruckers thing for better or worse. So, uh, you know, you just bite into it, and eventually you kind of realize, partway through, yeah, I have to eat the rest of this burger, don't I? Ah. Uh, that's, that's pretty much the thought process. It's like, it's like if you, uh, if you get a giant bowl of ice cream, and you realize, yeah, you really didn't want ice cream that much. I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong, but sometimes you just kind of wish there was, like, a little bit of something extra strewn in, into that ice cream that, you know, gives it a little bit of... I'm gonna say pizzazz. That's why I like, uh, you know, cookies and cream. You get the big Oreo bit or chocolate chip cookie dough. Uh, for the, well, I mean, titular cookie dough bits. Or, I don't know, there's like a thousand other things that I can think of, and we're not gonna be able to. Yep. Okay, we're kind of gonna be able to get this one. At least this one's a little bit easier to maneuver. Because we kind of went down first. But yeah. So that's, that's the point I'm trying to make here, or at least the analogy I'm trying to work with. I don't know if points has been made, but I tried. Okay, so let's, let's land up here. Oh, hey. Ooh. I don't even care if there's nothing in here. There's a cool-looking plant that I want to, not plant. Cool-looking set of, bu oh. You know, never mind. On second thought, on second thought... Let's let's not be here anymore. I'm really curious. Can I I wonder if I can impact the ground really hard with this thing. That's gonna that's gonna be the end here. We're just gonna smash real hard into the ground with the uh, hang glider and see if that gives me terminal velocity or not. It in fact does. Cool. Well, one way or another, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Grow Up. And as always, thanks for watching.